hello viewers this is Ajhorafi once again welcome to this new video where i'm going to talk about another easy work types that are available on almost all of the freelance marketplaces such as fiber.com freelancer.com and upwork.com okay so the project type is about collecting email addresses and in this video i'm going to talk about a completed project that i have done on fiber and i'm going to show you the full working process and the details about the uh, the project that how the client provided me the instructions and how i worked on this project okay so as you can see the order was placed by the client on july 1st 2019 and i have so the package was the basic pack which is priced 45 dollars and here is the instruction uh so here hello could you please provide first name last name company and email address for each of the ceos on the attached top 50 list thank you and the client name so here is the file that he has uh, attached and i am going to download the file okay and let's open the file to see what we have got here all right so here we have got some company lists and let me show you i have sent him back of the order confirmation here on uh, 11 43 pm on july 1st 2019 i delivered the project on 1 am july 2nd 2019 i have made 45 dollar where 36 dollar was my pure profit okay after um, excluding the fiber fees all right so now i'm going to show you how to do how to do these types of projects so first of all let me show you the uh, completed project here so here as you can see hi mark look up for the list has been completed and i was able to find 48 contacts emails so client asked me to find 50 contacts emails but i was able to find 48 contacts email and here i have attached the google spreadsheet link where i have got the full work and i have also attached an excel file in case if you want it in excel version all right and then after a few days of checking up uh, the client has provided me an excellent rating as you can see and it's time to show you the completed spreadsheet here that i have made for him so as uh, by following instruction as you can see uh, could you please provide first name last name company and email address for each of the ceos on the ETA's top 50 list okay so here i have collected first name last name title company website and email address for almost all of the companies uh, here at here listed all right as you can see here 50 companies now i am actually going to show you how i have worked on this project so i'm actually going to create a new uh, spreadsheet and going to copy the header column from here and I will show you how I did work for this project for one contact to give you the idea okay so live project idea for my subscribers or maybe for youtube channel many of my viewers are actually not my subscribers so i would request you to subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos like this okay all right so here i have got the columns requested columns as you can see first name last name company and email address so here i have got first name last name title i have kept to give the better idea of the context actual title of the company okay and the company this one was requested and website this place is needed to uh, find the email address okay so i have just uh, added this uh, column so make it a uh, little bit bold and let's go for collecting the company name from here and i'm going to put the company name here and let's make a google search and here is the company as you can see i have visited earlier so i'm going to open the company name here or sorry company link and going to copy the domain name and paste it on website and now it's time to find the ceo or founder or president's first name last name and title and then email address so let's see 
I'm just putting, uh, this is the process how I actually collect CEOs or uh, owners or C-level contracts information, okay? So I have just put a double quotation in the both side of the domain and then I'm putting CEO and let's see if we can find anything appearing here. So here as you can see, I have got a CEO mark and I can always use LinkedIn as well. So let's open LinkedIn and let's open the first file here. So I'll power company effect sheet, CEO, I have seen somewhere CEO, okay. So Tom Myers is the CEO, let's verify if it was the correct. No, actually the contact was changed. So let's see on, oh, I have to sign in in LinkedIn account. So first of all, to work on this project, you must need to have a LinkedIn account, okay. So this is very easy to sign up for an account. So I'm actually signed in right now with my account and it's time to visit the LinkedIn page once again and we can use uh, Bloomberg as well to find the CEO's information so here Norman F Hollinger is the CEO as you can see and I found the information on Bloomberg and we can always verify the information on LinkedIn as well so Let's click on all filters and here on title field put CEO, apply and here we go, Norman Hollinger is the CEO. Okay, so I'm going to copy the name here. First name uh, should be Norman and last name is Hollinger and the title is CEO and it's time to collect the email address. So let's collect the email address I have just copied the both names first name and last name and putting the in uh, at the rate after the first name and last name and it's time to copy the domain name okay so I may I'm actually going to copy the domain name from here on the spreadsheet as I have collected for this purpose so copied and now putting it here so this is how I actually go for the initial attempt of collecting emails all right so I'm making a simple Google search and let's uh, we have found all of the results that are appearing here and I'm going to use control F to get this find uh, finding bar and I'm going to put shift at the rate to find any information that has at the rate on the search result okay so let's see okay so I'm failed here I didn't find any email address from Google search so now it's time to go for another use which is our email address or actually gmail address and we need to have an extension installed which is named linkedin sales navigator extensions sorry extension i'm going to add the link of this extension in the description field of the video and you will need to have another extension added to your chrome browser which is named to email by reply i will add this extensions link in the description field as well all right and now it's time to click on after after installing this uh, extension you have to sign in with your LinkedIn profile as I have signed in and then you have to reload your uh, Gmail inbox okay so after installing this extension you have to sign in and then uh, reload your Gmail inbox to make them work okay so I I have I've got here uh, first name last name and at the rate the company domain name and now I, I'm going to copy this part and then clicking on compose here and let's move it from here okay and on the recipient recipients field we have to put the first name last name and alpha alpha broader.com domain okay and after putting them if we just visit like this uh, on these names and emails then we are going to get so here i was not able to uh, verify an email address by uh, selecting or sorry actually by uh, visiting each profile so I'm actually going to copy a random 
email address and putting it here and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do and let me show you what i was looking for here so if i'm putting my email address mdrafi9 at gmail.com here then you will see a linkedin profile will be appeared here because i have got a linkedin profile created with this uh, with this email address so this is why i'm seeing a uh, linkedin profile here and here i have got a google plus profile as well uh, actually i had a google plus profile with this email address this is why i'm seeing this part as well so this email address is valid i could say okay so as i didn't find the any any uh, linkedin profile associated with the email address here okay so i was not able to verify the email so in this case i have to use another website which is mailtester.com so i'm going to put first name and dot last name and before that what i should do i'm going to find out the company email format for the website okay so control f control at the rate and jasmine so the email could be uh, first name first word first first word and the last name so what i mean here's the first name here's the last name so the first name first word is only n and the last name full okay so now i'm going to click on click ad check address and here we go email address is valid so i'm going to copy the email address here and paste it so now we have got a valid email address here by uh, and we have verified this email by using mail tester and if we just uh, place anything else here this is a wrong email address and if we just click on check address then here we go we have got a uh, wrong status here okay so this is how you will be uh, you'll be uh, sure that if the email address is valid or not and this was the process i have done for almost all of the contacts here on this page and i have completed this task in only one and received uh 30 sorry 36 pure profit out of 45 uh, earned money okay on fiverr so you'll be fine you'll be able to find these types of project on freelancer.com as you can see here a live project that is available for bidding and on upwork.com i have just applied on this job a few minutes ago so many uh, projects you will find many, many similar projects you will find on several freelance, freelance marketplaces so to learn the full process of these types of email collection please follow these steps go to youtube.com and i'm going to actually uh, attach the link of this video uh, lessons in the description field as well so go to youtube.com put ajharul rafi and you will find click on ajharul rafi go to playlists and let's see where is here learn lead generation email list building for clients so you will find all the lessons that i have made for you guys on this playlist all of these are very helpful and you'll be able to learn the full process of collecting email addresses and how i make money or made money on other projects uh, i have got some live projects as well on these videos so i believe we'll be able to learn this uh this task very easily and you'll be able to make a decent amount by joining and creating gigs on fiverr to sell these services or by joining freelancer.com and bid on these types of uh job uh, job posts and or from upwork.com okay so i hope you have found this video helpful and if you have found this video helpful please like this video and let me know your opinion by commenting below and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos like this in future i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching